For a very long time, people have been wondering about the state of the world. If you explore your own feelings now, there is this sense within many of us that things are not moving in the best direction. This directional motion, which is the result of the fixation of human attention, seems to be leading the species away from what could be termed the spiritual, the inner realms, those expansive inner realities that are the source of our true magic, indeed, they are the true source of everything that we are. And as time progresses and we find ourselves in this modern age, our complete fixation on the material world seems to be almost total. Such material fixation takes our imagination, our ability to dream of those things beyond wholly material things, and as such we find ourselves trapped in a world that insists that we are just objects within objects. The world is at this point in history most definitely designed, just about every inch of it in modern society, to maintain the focus of your attention squarely on it. The world seems to now demand, forcing, all of us, to let go of all spirituality and magic. Could the last vestiges of our great inner power be squeezed out of us? The more that you focus your attention on it, the harder and more controlling that this material world becomes. The more that you fixate your attention on it, the more real that it becomes for you, the more stable and inescapable the trap of rationality, materiality, and skeptic and atheistic common sense. The material world makes you look at it, it grabs you from every angle, and as your point of focus becomes fixed, the trap becomes final, the cube's angles are sealed and all that is left for you is a life of quiet desperation. But there are ways to escape this fixation. There are ways to begin to move the human cognitive position, slowly over time, into slightly different positions. These new positions make available new vistas and in time even new possibilities, incredible possibilities beyond rational imagination. A new fixation means using a key to open a door that leads past the material trap, the cube and all its hard and heavy limitation. We all suffer from some form of attention deficit disorder, but the greater truth is that our real sickness comes from the energetic fact that this attention is not focused on the right things. The world tells us that we must focus on physical things, that we must worry about every little physical item within the material world, and that every single little distracted daydream is a sickness, an inappropriate dysfunction, something that keeps us from being orderly in accordance with what the material world defines as being orderly. Inner alchemists invert such silly notions and take the stance that while the physical world is important, our real work, the important work, happens in those other dimensions that we inhabit during our distracted moments. They understand that physicality is important because parts of us are bound to it, trapped in it, and a great deal of the great work must happen within it. They understand that due to the heaviness of physicality, this is an incredible place for us, a training ground. But, through their seeing, they also know that humanity is not just physicality, and if we were to go by size alone let us say, then the energetic truth is that the largest portions of us exist in dimensions beyond physicality. We are far bigger on the inside than we are on the outside. This means that as we learn to manage energy and power in this physical training ground, we must begin in a conscious way to focus our attention with increasing precision on what happens during those distracted moments. This is of greatest importance because it is only in those other dimensions that we will truly find our liberty and power. But in order to begin to access those other dimensions, we must first break out of this one. And to do that we must focus our unrelenting intent on a new cognitive position, a wider and far more expansive reality. Such a thing is an incredible undertaking for us in this heavy and dense place. The great weight and thickness of this material world makes us weak and small. In this dense place we forget, this place makes us forget. We all forget and in our forgetting our minds are diverted and our focus is scattered. So, we must make ourselves remember, we must remember. If we can remember long enough, if our attention becomes unrelenting enough, then we may have a chance to escape this material cube and access dimensions and possibilities beyond rational imagining. This is what the Book of Remembering is about. It is a compendium of questions and answers, my personal quotes, and extra material on the secrets of inner alchemy. Of special note, I go into some detail on the human point of assembly, where it is, what it is, and what it means to know of it and manipulate it. 
It is a book to help you remember, because if we can remember for long enough, then this forgotten magical world will open up to us, it will become permanent for us. As discussed and explained in this book, these new positions make available new vistas and in time even new possibilities, incredible possibilities beyond rational imagination. A new fixation means using a key to open a door that leads past the walls of the material trap. If you are interested in this book, I will leave a link to it in the video description below.